course has all the I wonder we spend one minute for look at uh, this picture of words. Any word where you are if you don't have column or tell me that word they will most talk about inside this talk. So any word where you are if you don't have, just no time or tell me and then listen for that word they will talk about. Uh, as I said, we say, we did talk about uh, dry cough today. And my colleague, Ms. Nafisa, to go help me at some point with uh, this talk here. Anybody don't see any word? TJ, if you. Yeah, I don't, I don't allow them for unmute. If anybody wants to talk, he will unmute himself. Yeah, anybody see any word? Microscope. Okay, microscope and the right. Any word? Any other word? I want let we let we talk, let we interact at this stage. And I know see no other word. Vaccine. Vaccine. Anybody else? Somebody put disease. Okay, disease. Another one put respiratory. Respiratory, good. Anything else? Somebody else put medications. Medication, very good. Then, then treatment. Treatment, all right, good. Anything else? Prevention. Prevention. Resistance. Yeah. Resistance. Stages. Stages. Prolonged. All right, thank you very much. I think we don't get enough words uh, in the interest of time. Let me proceed. Um, maybe because uh, TJ don't introduce the, the talk, nobody know, know mentioned tuberculosis anyhow. So, as uh, TJ don't say, today we will talk about tuberculosis or TB or dry cough. So, if I say tuberculosis, TB or dry cough, I mean just the same thing. This talk is so important to Mama Well Body and the world when I double it, so much so that then dedicate a day specifically for this uh, CPR when I drink off. And that day then are the 24th of March every year. So inside this talk, we will talk about uh, waiting at this dry cough. We'll talk about a little bit of history and waiting at the, the, the sick situation at the whole world. We'll talk about a little bit of uh, the jam itself where they cause uh, this CPR, this strike off. We'll talk about risk factors, the symptoms, how they mend the seat, et cetera. Uh, so, waiting a dry cough. Dry cough, now, sick way. Uh, now jams they cause them where now airborne jams we call them mycobacterium tuberculosis. Uh, this bacteria or this jam now one Dr. Robert Koch, named the first CM or discoverer in the year 1882. From that time they take today, this sick yard day now the first top ten sick day where they cause die from Ottoman. Well, inside 2019, the year away COVID killed people them. COVID obviously not be the first sick way kill more people, but dry cough nine become number two, way in kill 1.5 million people around the world. The 
world burden of disease studies, uh, then we say uh, this dry cough don't get up to 9.02 million cases around the world inside 2016, that year. But also, even more worrying, uh, Salon Day among the 30 countries that will get the highest volume of this strike of CPR. As I've been saying, these jams it attack the food, food that belongs there, but also it can attack any other parts of the body. Sorry, my screen. Okay. So, waiting at this uh, uh, jamia, this mycobacterium tuberculosis. Well, mycobacterium tuberculosis, it come up from a big family, where we call mycobacteria. This family gets other small, small family there or group them, like the mycobacterium leprae. This way they cause uh, leprosy. Then we also get uh, mycobacterium bovis. This is not the jam way they cause uh, dry cough uh, animal there, whether domestic animal, cow, or pets them. But today we want to focus on uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, where they cause dry cough by This jam here yeah, is so small that you're not able to see how it's real. This picture we will not see, then don't multiply them 1,000 times, then pink small, small order. Before we able to see them, the guy in this one, then don't multiply them 1,000 times. So how do they get this CPR? Well, if once we get this jam here, they talk near you, or if they cough near you, or if they sneeze near you, just like I will see from this picture, you wait any other day, you can able to get this jamia. As I will breathe in and out now, so this jamia they go inside. Self, the other way, if you drink milk from cow way infected, where they not treat at all, then you can also able to get this jamia. Now, the one that will get the sick, this dry cough CPR, Compared to all the ones that we don't expose to this jamia, now just a small number, even though Ibuku WHO say 9.02 million inside 2016, but when you compare them to all the ones that we don't expose to the jam, that number is small. In fact, some other studies then say we say, uh, now between two to three billion with B, billion people then are they exposed to this jam here. And I think you can understand because the jam, now when we they breathe in, breathe out, now they will they get up. And then tell us the other study, tell we say, where person will get the jam, they breathe out or they talk, this jam here can float in the air for many hours. So it's not necessarily be say pass to the near person way. If you just pass by inside possible way, get it sick, we don't talk or cough, it's possible to say it will catch the child. So now this now this picture they tell you. Um the sick, broadly speaking, we can divide them into two. That is the one way they not the food food, but the one way they outside the food food or the long step. The one way they are the food food will go sent around that, the talk around that. But also, any other part of the body outside the food food there. It can be seen at the brain, where we call tuberculous meningitis, or it can be say the kidneys them, or the urinary bladder, it can be the bone them, or the joints them, it can be the gut. But we also get what we call a miliary tuberculosis. This one now where the jam don't, don't go inside the blood, and as the blood is circulates, it don't scatter them all over the body. In fact, if you look under the if you look at the foot, 
the time like wait and to wait minutes all over the food, food now. So this is the time, this is media regime. And this it require urgent uh, attention, otherwise that person they will die. But how this Jamia they cause sick? Well, as I say, mostly the jam wants the, 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 the lungs, the food. Now the reason for that we will know later on. But so as you they breathe in and out, the jam they go inside the lungs. Inside the lungs, it they cause the lungs they will be put there for lead and swell. Wait and swell, so it can cause so foot not the lungs there. Then you know say any size so foot there. Uh, post skin day, day. So that post day, they kind of block the air away now the food. So when that happens, even for breath, it don't also become difficult. Because that post day or that mucus day, it will block the air away. What at the risk factors of uh, this CPR? Well, first we get HIV AIDS, if they put you into a situation where you get higher chances for getting sick. Or if you get diabetes or kidney disease, or you get cancer, or for any cancer in the body, they, they take chemotherapy. But same so if you then a country where poor tumors, where Boku people they know they work, Boku people they know you can get eat for the day or malnutrition in case of picking them. This also they put you at high risk for getting CPR. Anybody with any person where they cough or dismiss where they get this CPR, it also they put you into high risk. But besides that, the people that the old people that where the body so German then don't run down small, they self get high risk for getting CPR. Same way so with the picking them. The picking them are because then you also demand that they're not fully developed yet. So, like I've been saying before, if you then are country way poor, like Mama Salon, also this they expose you for get a high risk for getting CPR. If you now they live in a congested or crowded place, like some man then attend they sleep inside one room or more. All down they go make you get high risk for getting sick here. Or you get any sick, like I said earlier, from where they run down your body in such a manner. Or you they pan drunk or drunk or business, or you they smoke. All this they cause for make you get this sick here easily. So we don't get the sick, waiting at the symptoms. Well, if you don't cough past three weeks, it better make you go see your doctor, let them check you. Because you possibly say, you don't get uh, this jam here. Or if you have cough and the cough get blood stain, down the back now other sign. Or if you they get chest pain, I the cough, this now other sign say, you likely don't get this sick here. Or you don't get appetite at all, you know they feel for it. Or you don't lose weight. Or you get fever, or you they sweat in a net, or you just weak normal, you tire body. All them you tire body, you walk away, no walk away. All them symptoms, yeah, they tell you say for go see the doctor, make them check you. Possible say you don't get this sick. Like I've been said before, this jamia he left the food there. So when you get this sick. We base na if you fuck them. Now so you body go run down down. Wait till we say uh, uh, lost weight. If we take x-ray for this person, we get the fuck dry cough. The picture way they na me right. Now so that person in the, in the x-ray will look like. You see them white, white spots them all over the chest. Whereas this the picture way there on the left, not the normal one. As I've been saying, the, the jam not just focus on the food there, even though not they like more. 
You can also then uh, the lymph nodes that are way there around the neck. Or you can then add the backbone. And when you then add the backbone, you can disfigure the backbone. Like you now see it on this picture. Self, you can then add the skin normal, any sign of the skin. At this picture, you now see the jawbone or this person's finger. This now, uh, the, the sick way then at the skin. Self, you can be at the bones then, like I said earlier, on all the joints then. Now they see how this city are done, yama yama, this person the, the, the bone that will be nine feet. You know, top of the ikinde na the God self. The God, same way so the foot foot there, it can make them um, inflame, put so foot there, and it's difficult for me to eat and make the, the God function normally. This jam not happening. It can then add the ISF where they cause blindness. Some of the complications where this jam they cause. Now, what do we call tuberculosis, uh, tuberculosis plural effusion? But it can also cause uh, problems in the liver and the kidney, or the back pain, or stiffness of the joint. It can also cause meningitis, among others. But in this picture, we get a, a membrane where we cover the, the foot, foot then, and the heart. This membrane gets small fluid. They will work for this fluid now for help let the lungs then move up and down as you breathe, or let them expand in and out as you breathe. So friction not go there. But when you get this jamia, it they make the fluid they pack full na this na this membrane. And when that happens, it's like they drown the lungs that will put there inside this fluid. You're not going to able to breathe fine. So that they give you problem with breathing. When a member say we can be able to prevent this sickle. How would they do them? Well, vaccine day, market day, way, way we will they take for help me fetch this, this uh, jamia and call them BCG market. Self, if we they eat, find it, or we get enough eat, so much so that we, we body so jamman, they know they run down to eat, then they back, they help me for next we not get this sick here. If we not dip and drunk or drunk or business, or we not dip and smoke, smoke, or we not live in a sideway overcrowded, like in a 10 or 15 people, they sleep inside one room. Or self way you they cough or you they sneeze, you, co you cover your mouth and nose, then they back the health for let we not get the sick. But say if we don't get her now, then we for be very faithful and compliant to we. We met since the way they give it. We for take they will not for miss any dose. Then they will help me back for many. So when we get the sick, how will they know? Well, the diagnosis of this sick they in two folds. Number one, what you tell the doctor in a clinic, hey, go see him, how you feel. The doctor will ask you if you get fever or you don't lose weight or you cough, etc. Then at the clinical side of you. But after all that, the doctor will tell you for cough and send an alarm. Inside the lab, we can grow this jam here. This is not the gold standard method for, for diagnose this sick here. But not to the only way. We can also take the, the, the cup, the spit of where you produce. We stain them and then look them under the microscope. Other way than they, other tests than they, way we can take small, small molecules from the, the blood and test them for see if this jam are there inside the blood. But also we can do test x-ray that we have shown earlier on. You go see how the the food food then don't yama yama if you get this uh, this uh, jamia. 
But also, we can do skin tests. This skin test, we call our mantle test. Uh, we get a, a, a solution, a liquid way with a tube, just under your skin. If your skin bump pass uh, uh, some size, then we know say uh, you get this jamia. We, we don't do the diagnosis now. How for treating? Well, the treatment generally is in two phases. We get the intensive phase or initial phase, then we get the continuation phase. Inside the intensive phase, most often we they give four kind medicine then. Then after two months, we they give either infanticine, ethanbutol, hydrochloride, uh, we they give pyrazinamide or isoniazid. Therefore, medicine yeah, we they give them for the first two months. After that, we they reduce them to two for another four months. However, we can amend either the number of months or the kind drugs them, depending on whose case we get. For example, if the person will with the treat right now, we get HIV alongside the dry cough, or you get liver disease, or in kidney and bulk, or you get uh, in some time, you know they see fine, or in a drunk or drunk cough, yes, we get way, way with the amend this treatment, whether we prolong, we put more months, or we change some drugs then for able to treat this person fine. Same way, so if person get HIV or not get HIV. Then if the person get a, a brain dry cough, same way, so we can either extend the treatment, that is the continuation phase to 10 months, or sometimes self, depending on the situation, uh, we can refer the person for, for surgery. Um, it depends on the case. Then if the person old, they can be tell you now, old people then the body so man don't run down small. Person way some tender old old past 65 or 70 or 80 years, or small, small picking their way, then the so man, their body so man not fully developed yet. So all then thing and they can, can determine how would they tweak the treatment? How would they amend the treatment? At this stage, I will let for call me colleague for can't talk about the public health side of the 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 sick. Miss Matisa too. Hello? Mafi, they hear me? I think we need some help here. Hi, okay, sorry. I mean, the, 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 the um, option for unmute mute not be the work, but it don't work now. Let her put me camera on. Uh, I think they said the host don't disable my camera or something like that. But are they are they really? Yeah. Um John, you able to turn me camera on, please. Thank you. It's going back up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's coming on. Thank you. Um good evening, everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Conte, for that um, presentation so far. Um as soon as you from Dr. Conte, me they talk about the public health aspect of TB. So before I begin, I would just want to tell you no more within a public health, just one in, in, in a few words. So public health now the heart and science of preventing diseases, promoting health, and prolonging life through the um, combined effort of the society, means the people. So in preventing the disease, we they do a lot of things. So when somebody gets TB, 
First of all, the health professional we suspect or diagnose the TB need for notify the TB case to the public health department of the country. So once they do that, then they do them on suspicion. You know, they do them, you know, they wait until you confirm the diagnosis. You know, they do them from the time where they suspect the diagnosis. Because public health action they start from suspicion. So then they then they notify this person to the public health team and say this person gets suspected TB. But not to every TB, the public health team they take action on. Then they take action on TB where they affect the fuk fuk, as Dr. Conte don't say, or TB when at the throat, because um, those are the two infectious ones then we can pass um, highly infectious where they pass from person to person. So once we don't know, say the person get TB, the nurse way diagnose the case and they actually focus on the household contact then where they share the same host with this person. The hospital will be responsible for screening the household contact of that individual day. for we'll offer them testing and see if they get active TB disease among people in the household or they get the latent TB disease when they sleep in form where not actually they show any symptoms. Because sometimes they day you can get TB, you know, no say you get them. You know, they even show no symptoms. But when they do check sex ray, then they see say you get so foot then you chest X ray, then they call cavities where Dr. Conte don't mention. So then they focus on that. So we the public health team, they, they actually deal with wider public health implications, then we link to this index case. When I say index case, I mean the person will get the disease. If this person they go to school or in the work, now any workplace, or if they attend universities. Or this person, they teach in a nursery or a teacher in a school, or this person um, in a prison, for example, or sometimes the person is in an asylum seeker accommodation or any other place of detention. Then I deal with the kind side, the public health people that they can, because then you get wider public health implications. It means we get for contact stress in that setting. So we don't work basically now for prevent the, the spread of the TB. We know the treat, now the medical people that they treat, but public health, they identify the source and try for prevent for the spread of that source, that, that, that infection depending from the index case to the other people that we don't work with. So we will contact the working place, if not working place or the school, and do a risk assessment around this index case. And for the risk assessment, you will look at how many hours this person they do not work. The guidelines are UK now, anybody will don't spend eight hours or more now work with the index case. Then that person they qualify as a contact waiting for actually offer screening. So you go to the workplace, you talk to the manager in charge, who they maintain confidentiality, but we could not tell the index case or the possible 6 a Because we didn't do risk assessment, we will need to disclose you only to who that we need for no. Because for letting identify, you contact them, then need for no, who that get the sick, for letting know who that, who that don't work around. So if you, if not somebody they do eight hours or more per week, like a, eight hours a shift, five days a week, Monday to Friday, Definitely, everybody we don't work with, we don't spend more than eight hours per week. They need for offer the person screening. So sometimes then they would work jointly with the local TB team. Sometimes then they can be said the TB team where they look after the patient. Now and the TB team back will responsible for screening the workplace. It happen in a situation where the person they work outside, outside tap the area where tap now they the work. But if in a situation where they already get the sick tap now one area, then they work now another area. Then the TB clinic or the hospital within that area, they will say the, 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 the setting, they were at the school or the university or the workplace or the prison. Now, them, the public health team will work with closely. They do a joint risk assessment. Now, the setting, they will visit the setting and then they identify contacts them and offer them screening. Then you can do on site screening or they can do screening when they will invite them in the hospital and do one. If the people in Boku too much, let's say like 50 or 100 people, 100. Then we're actually more likely for doing on-site screening. When I did them, we can screen the on-site. They go involved taking blood samples or doing a skin test, etc. Then if they see certain thing and they're positive, then they can widen the screening depending on almost positive cases they get. If they get 10% or more, they can widen to another set of people. And so we they do something called stone in the pond principles where you they screen the hand and force where they close to the index case. We don't work with and close the significant amount of time. And if you get 10% or more positive among them, and then they, they widen onto the other layer of contact them or work colleagues, them or university students, et cetera. We, we spend less than eight, eight hours, but because you don't get 10% or more, that probably they should say the index case may be infectious, so highly infectious that it could not spread onto other people. And so basically, I don't want to keep on too long. 
we they do contact tracing once the infectious TB and we they cover different different settings them schools universities colleges offer them screening and if anybody come back positive with active disease we mean to get the, the real TB not to the latent one when are the sleeping form then you could not be say two people then we don't get TB in that place then we look at an outbreak now because once you get two or more cases and one setting it don't become an outbreak. So you do actually widen the screening. You do continue for widening, widening. In some situations, they will continue for widening until you screen the whole setting. We don't get incident, they will screen the whole school. 1,200 people will screen because of several TB cases the way they identify from the screening. So yeah, so now so we do, you know, public health need for do contact tracing because once you contact trace the people, then you don't test them, you don't identify, you will give them treatment so that they don't actually spread the disease again to other people then. So mainly the message when we go send the public health messages, we need for be aware of the um the signs and symptoms. Seek help as doctors Conte don't talk. We've coughed not last for three weeks or more. Talk to your doctor because the earlier you identify them, the better it will be for you as the individual. You will get treatment and you will recover. But also you will prevent for spread and from people. Because one thing I want to mention is that you exclude the person. Immediately you suspect TB. From the public health aspect, the person for excluded from school, from work, enough for go work, enough for go school, enough for go attend any setting where you go spread that disease. There. Until you don't begin treatment, you don't take about two weeks of treatment. Where once you don't take two weeks, you have you you're less likely for spread. And because then now the germs go down, they reduce by the by the sputum, by the by the, the pit where they go take for test, the cough where they go test, the germs go down, they refuse. So go down, they reduce this. So you know they spread that again. So at that point, they will test the TB team, will test and, and satisfy. So, okay, at this stage, the person can continue for go walk back, but you still get for continue the rest of your treatment for how many, how many, whatever months you take and for whether six months or more. So I think I will pass on a back to Dr. Um, Conte for let you continue, but that's the public health aspect, just uh, briefly. Um, if I say I talk everything, it will take longer, longer, longer. This is not just briefly, no more. I'm happy for taking any questions at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Over to you, Dr. Conte. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Ms. Nafisatu. Um, you don't bring very important points there. This sick nurse alone, this dry cough, uh, you don't tell, we say, when you notice, say you get the sick nurse for go one tell you doctor go check you and take treatment because the earlier the better. The problem where we get nurse alone, this stigmatization, this don't make People they know they feel free for go see them doctor for let them take treatment or for let them check themselves because they will talk about you or sometimes you are person way way famous or way popular then they can know say you get this sick so this not a help the community in my own opinion I no say the country is stronger. Waku families, then they where they struggle for get one meal a day. Then you go put on top of the stigmatization. Then they go get the sick. Then they know they able go fend sideways. Then they get help. Remember, I say I don't tell you now. The country get hundred and seventy centers where then they treat this sick are free of charge. You just need for go there. Then find out say like what I did not say you get the sick. Then they go treat you for free. But where this talk about or talk about or this stigmatization then at the country, people then they seek, they know they go for let them go check that they can help them. And people then they die unnecessarily. This sick, no need for kill people then. And right now, the country, now one of the taxi country where they are the red alert. That means the number of people that where they get the sick out of every hundred thousand, the Boku pass mark sometimes seven times, which is normal for putting at the red alert list. So do you have a family them? If you not forget about anything else, you not remember say we able to do something for prevent this sick here, for take mark late, take with treatment, go see doctor, let them help you. Just think, say, let them talk about me and I leave, or let her die. In any case, then we'll still talk about you. But no more, you know, we're here again because you don't die. So we're there for you. Anyhow, we'll continue. 
Inside 2017, WHO be report say, as I say, Salon Day among the 30 countries then at the world we get the Boku Boku dry cough case there. And Salon, the report inside 2016 saying 14,114 people then get the sick. But WHO think say uh Boku Boku what has the they're not report, but the sick because either they're not show up or they're not go for good test. So WHO be estimate say uh, 8,000 people there, they will get the sick or will get the jam, but no, no, say they get the sick or they get the jam. So they not go for good test or for let them report or that number they be included. And like I say, Salon don't get 170 centers for treats free of charge this sick year. This is possible because the global fund the American Agency of International Development, some NGOs and the community all join in for help the Salon government for make these facilities then possible. Same way so, as I've been mentioned earlier, Salon don't get the new technology for tests for this CPR, what we call a gene expert. This CPR are not the only test for this. I mean, this technology not the only test for the CPR. They also test for the one that we don't, don't get drug resistant. We know the grip for men because of uh, the, the, the jam don't become difficult or trying to hit. Well, we all know say Salon gets 16 districts there now. Uh, then 16 districts here get the 170 centers there in total where and they treat this city here for free. But also uh, inside 2023, other reports in the way talk about uh, picking the dry coffee and the, the young man and young girl that we will call adolescent dry coffee group. Um, they say we get over 1,500 health centers in the country. This make up of uh, 1,284 uh, public hospital units and also 186 uh, direct observed uh, treatment. That means they wait and they give the medicine for take and reside and they watch you. But also this uh, new technology for test, today now 14 facilities, the health facilities around the country. And the center, the way they treat the drug resistant cases there, then are three around the country. And also we get uh, one national uh, TB reference lab within Alaska. Inside 2020, uh, we then we estimate say the country population are 7.98 million. Uh, 24,000 people de develop this diagnosis. Like, out of that, 2,800 are uh, But inside that number, the 8,294 been go missing. Again, this same stigmatization problem. People then they shame for, for come up uh, openly for let them check them and treat them because then we talk about them. So that 8,294 will just disappear. And out of that number, the 1,253, that be between them. Same way, so 3,300 people there, they develop the sick way they get HIV as well. Remember, I will not tell you, say, if you get HIV or you get diabetes or kidney or liver problem, it's very easy for let you catch this dry cough here. Same way, so 2,144 people then be diagnosed with a HIV and T this dry cough. And 2,400 people will die of this dry cough by that year day. Uh, the time we say this dry cough nine and the, the fifth or number five and the sick them, 
where they kill people then as alone. The other sick then be mommy then we just born between them or then newborn between them or people that we not they eat fine way because them poor they not get it. Sir. Okay, so inside 2022, uh, and we estimate say now 19,400 uh, dry cough cases that we get in the country. And the out of every 100,000, they get uh, 286 people that will get dry cough. That number they is seven times more than uh, the normal number where uh, WHO they consider say. Uh, problem then at this place with dry cough. But also then the estimated 2,500 people being die of dry cough in Asalo. Um, the cases the way though not the well again, if you did in the same medicine way black people there, then being are 370. The one that will get HIV, and the dry cough, now in 3,300. Um, the picking them way old from few months to 14 years, we get this dry cough, now in 2,400. Then graph here, we will go see now for the next one or two slides, then they're all just the talk, but what I don't tell you now. So. In Agosi, say the number of uh, dry cough cases there generally they go up every year. That means say the country is still poor people, then they suffer from for it, or people then they do the things that do the things their way. I do not tell when I say that they put me at risk for getting sick here. As soon as they see all them graph here, just they point out say the numbers then will likely go up year after year. However, the good news is, as I've been mentioned, we get 170 uh, treatment centers that we now free of charge. And if we see this graph, um, the green color by there, then they tell we are most cases that we then don't treat successfully, district by district. Which is good. This is a uh, 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 good news. The same way this graph, they they tell we how the cases then they then they up or they go up year after year. This one they tell we between mommy then and daddy then, woman there and man then, young girl then and young boy then or picking, boy picking or girl picking. Compare the differences and the age group them, we get almost thousand by the country. Uh, different uh, districts then get their own initiative or approach how for men this year. That they talk about would I get the dry cough and the HIV, or would I not get HIV, we just get dry cough, etc. So each district they make their own initiative for treat people that will be sick. Uh Kono district get their own approach, same way so uh Bombali district get their own approach, etc. All the districts there. We bring that results way when I don't see this in the draft. All right, some references. And the end, we now thank you for listening. Any questions? Thank you very much, Dr. Rashid. You don't do very, very well. And also, Auntie Nafi, thank you so much. Um, I've been feeling I don't even see the end of this um, program because <laughs> I'm not being a charger, but I don't fear anyone. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, I'm sure, say, our oh, don't land. I'm sure, say, people then say, say, don't land. Um, this sickness, I think we, 
we all at some point don't they around people and we either don't suffer or we don't die from her. Um, they ain't kind, I don't want to say needless, but sometimes they, some of the people they end up dying from the entire based on because they're not getting the right information, um, which is the main reason why I make well body better for gents today. For able to teach people and for them able to recognize when either they don't catch this thing or how to avoid them, um, 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 or if they get them and they get the signs and symptoms, then for them know waiting for do and no side for go. But also for educate recessive for let we learn how for treat people and we don't get then kind of sick here. Not just TB, but sickness in general. Most of the time, now because of wiki naive, we're not can know waiting and sickness and they be naive makes something they. So man, we see them get any kind of sickness here. For talk to you now, self, they don't want to talk to you. For feeding now, self, they don't want to feed you. But other person, they will take some life. So on 10 day, the reason make some of the people in can die, like now, yeah, they get um, psychological stuff where they get willing to sicknesses, for example, wherein when somebody's sick, the way I treat that person can help that person they for like too long in life or even for like cutting life short. So we as a self, as a society, we get a responsibility, not just from a a medical standpoint, but also from a moral standpoint, we get a responsibility. But I'm not blaming people away, not can do anything in there, and because of lack of knowledge. We will not understand if we say, ah, this person we don't get out, so I know for good near. This person we don't get out, so I know for do this, I know for do this. So I hope see them program here yeah, we will bring out. Thank you very much, all the doctors there. I hope see we they learn from them. Um, not just personally, because information where you get them, but keep on to yourself. You not get no value. You say pass that information, but not try for pass them and try for add part this to you. No, try for pass them based on what you don't tell you, or make a reference to outside information. They let people go have a look. We don't make any money by views. Not to say we forget one million views, we they make money out of them. No, the only benefit where we they get now for see say by God power people and they benefit from this. Maybe we save one or two life out of them. You know. As long as we get that, we're happy. Not to say, like I've been saying before, we know not they get paid. As a matter of fact, now we lost money. We put real physical cash into it. Not just with time. Because we already know, we are going to say, maybe, 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 maybe at the least. I know how much are they earn. We, this time, why they give. I mean, they give unto somebody else, they lecture people, I know how much they get paid. Now, one person, I need to see if I get a full class. So imagine one day, I would online learn book past me. The Guna, then time. Let we take advantage of her. I ask her, they ask her. Okay, so now we don't reach to the point of question and answers. If anybody gets any question where they want to ask, wow, I see about 18 messages. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. If anybody gets a question where they want to ask, please feel free. Okay, this is not the one that we be the get in the way that we see at the, at the beginning. Okay. Anybody get any question we were asked? Please, when well, I feel free, either you type them and ask a question, or you ask your hand. If I see you, I will come to you last. That change the view. And Doctor, contest stop for share. So let's see by other people in the in the show, so I'll be able to see. Okay. I'll I'll stop. Stop. <laughs> if you go to the green button at the bottom and you start, if I see something red. <laughs> Yeah, screen share. If I see something um, red, ice cream. All right, no worry. I'll go see. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see you. So. Ah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Hey, you see? Very <laughs> soon, you know, I will be out of work. You know? <laughs> you go, you go become an IT consultant, then I'll go be out of work. Yeah, for good to know this project. Yes, Antigi, Tagawali. How are you? Welcome, sir. Yes, um... Thank you very much, guys. Um, unfortunately, I, I come inside this program in the somewhat towards the end. A program I'll be done the year and for our catch up with. Um, unavoidably because of the time zone where we live, where we fall from Australia. So, the program most times when I came for catch up. Um, now they tell deadly they sleep, but today I, I, I tell God thank you for kitchen out. 
at least I've enjoyed some of the information. And also, I would tell when I will plenty think here and we also get doctor and the way they um, give the information and some links where we're able for access on our archives and see what's going on the book slowly. And this topic will not come up with so a very important topic. The only unfortunate, my brother, well, this topic, he really need to forget a wider coverage now we country because we know how this disease stands in our country. We don't get family members that we don't encounter this disease and we know what can happen. I get a few questions because we understand, say, um, when you contact this disease, you, your medication has to be it's kind of continual, you know, for me, say, day, kind of. And that's how we understand then. But then the question now is, um, what's not the advice to somebody who, for some reason, a miss a day or two, we maybe by mistake or forgetfulness somehow, within the way we within the uh, adjustment for that person, which you need for do. In that case, now me question and they were get for this. Thank, Thank you very you. much, guys. Thank yeah. You. Um, Doctor Conte, you can go. Uh, anybody else within the panel? Any of the doctors there? If I feel say when I get anything to add, please feel free. Yeah, Doctor Conte. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Santiti, for the question. Um, it's very important for try, not for forget. But if you forget for one or two days, like you said, just carry on with uh, when you remember, carry on with your treatment. Um, it's bad because when you begin to miss your doses, then that they make this jamia become difficult or stubborn or make it amen or make the, the mess kill and all pull and come out in your body. So you know what for do that. The more this uh, you miss, the higher the chances for let this jamia become difficult for men. You, you know what for do that. However, if you miss just a day, just carry on. When you remember, just continue with treatment. And hopefully, you will be fine. If anybody wants to add to that, please do so. But uh, now, so I want to answer the question. OK. Anybody else on the panel want to add? If I ask the next question. Thank uh, you. Yes, yeah, go on, sir. You want to say Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. uh, Brother Santiki. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people, they, they know, as you said, they don't uh, want this thing for a long, long time. But of course, as you can see, well, buddy, we do so well that, uh, you know, we don't go as far as Australia. <laughs> Thank God for that. You know, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I say, I don't think say, there's a problem. It, like how uh, Dr. Rashid don't talk. If you forget for taking medication, like any other medication, the important thing is, not to for overdose, all right? So if you say you miss yeah. them for one day, take them for one day. Not say, ah, because I don't miss one day now for catch up and for do two. That day okay. not go good, all right? Okay. I, don't, I hope so that yeah. clear, yeah? Yes, it's very clear. So that's it. So just take them as you should, and then, uh, you know, see how they go to go. Definitely not to problem if you miss them one day, because the one way you don't get in your body already go carry you through for some time. Obviously, if you get one whole week, it's like where somebody they sleep one whole week, then you wake up, you say, ah, I don't miss one whole week for the world. You know what I mean? That different. But okay. if now one day no more you miss, that different. So you just take as you're supposed to take them, and that is supposed to be okay. Because what you make this important, now because one of the main reasons we make this sick, the stronger for treat, and the day from we for a long, long time, now because people them need they complete the treatment. They know they comply, as Englishman say. You don't take it for take him for two weeks, like how uh, Ajahn Afi talk. And I'm sorry for me because the two weeks go knock him down your head, and then they go bring him down to the point where if I cough by you, I think to you, I sneeze to you, by you, or I cough or do anything else, I talk to you, it no go actually infect you with the Nyami. You hear what I mean? So, what you do for yeah. the first two weeks, then you know, for knock him down to the point where you say, you no go become infectious. Other than that, you just pass them from person to person. Especially we waste on them, we get a big, big family them. So until one grandma mm. gets 16, it's in a one bedroom. Mm. You know what I mean? So now they're 15 day day. 
who said in the sleep now, so then they breathe, but now they then they sneeze, but then they cough, and I had the cough now, so they pitted and the corner, and so then they catch it. So, if you infectious, clearly you go scatter them all over the earth. But the problem here is, if you get the sick and you not get the symptoms, that not means that you not get them all. I want that to be clear. Now make it important for make we actually put this thing down. So if you miss them for one day, we not mean to say that not the end of the world. Carry on like I suppose for carry on, and of course here yeah, we we'll go from there. I hope you that be clear. Very much clear. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to a question on my cage. Of course, we are very attentive. You know, you see, see with the instinct tackling there. You get. You say we get big family. I don't mean to say get big family. Six week kid. Hey, I'm telling you. 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 I'm telling Okay. Um, somebody asked for the benefit of the one day where they listen, we don't see the um, <laughs> the text. Somebody asked uh, um, they join late I and mean, they asked say if somebody will get TB with no symptoms. I don't say Auntie Nafido answer, but I can say for the one day where they listen. Um, do you, I don't know if you want to go over that again, Auntie Nafi, and just give a little bit of idea as to you know. Yes, um, thank you very much. Let me see I asked the question for me. Yes, you can get TB where you don't know, so you get them. In fact, my experience in working in TB, so on 10 and day, not only when they identify you as a contact of somebody, we don't get TB. Like as I mentioned earlier on, say household contact, then they can actually offer them screening where somebody get TB. You know, you get no symptoms, you know, they cough, you know, they get nothing. Not only when they do the chest x ray, then go see, say, the chest x ray gets something where Dr. Conte be mentioned, we say, they get, they, 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 the foot gets so foot. And that's the they, 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 they call them cavities, you know, in the medical terms. Now, the 10 day you go see, say this person get active TB disease. But sometimes, then, yes, somebody can get her, I know they even know. And some people then can get her, but then they get mild symptoms. Because now, as a doctor been talking and saying, I'm slow growing bug, you know, people can get can get TB for six months before they diagnose them. And then, when somebody can die of TB, I can, I can feel so sad. They're not supposed to kill you, honestly. If the awareness day and you actually um, seek help at an early stage, then diagnose you quick, then they will treat you quick, you get well. Completely, completely. But the only thing is you can get them back. You know, they, you know, they build up immunity. So yes, the answer to that question is you can still get TB where you know they get no symptoms, but you get them. That makes it difficult. That makes so it, it, people like, can spread them a lot because they know they know say they get, they not get symptoms and they mingle with people them, you know. Um, um, but when you highly, when you get symptoms, you actually, the mild symptoms, they actually spread them. So if you don't show no symptoms, you probably not go pass them easily. So, but somebody will show symptoms when you cough, you go actually pass them, even if not mild symptoms, as long as they cough. Um, the longer you cough safe, the more you know um the infectiousness can they get. Then they will get cavity when we need oxygen get so food nine lungs. Then can they then can highly infectious, you know, when they cough, they, they actually spread a lot of the bacteria. So, but answering the question, yes, you can get TB where you know get symptoms. Thank you. 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 Because we all read in the party in the world, or even we come out Africa come, we been don't get exposed to these germs, this microbacterium. It go day in the chest, it day in other part of the body, so man don't know nothing. The moment where then so German, as, as Dr. Bin, they say just now, the immune system, that's what we call them, go down, small bit, and then they, they happen between the one the way a very young one them, and then the way the very old one them. When that immune system, they go to sleep because of different reasons. So man get chronic sick. Like T, we talk about TB, so man get HIV, so man get cancer. So man, now even we get better, now this thing can come on. So all that thing, then they, they challenge the immune system. So therefore, if you begin to feel the symptoms, remember, so them, the immune system don't go down, now I make you the begin to feel them. In fact, I can tell you this, people that we don't get them, we then baby, we don't know so they get them at all. Yeah? At the time we then turn 65 to 70, if the immune system get weak, because of what I sickness them, now the ten then will begin feel the symptoms of them, and then they will tell us the the uh, the TB don't come back because what you do the body they ask for uh, that TB they call calcium, and that part where this thing they now the now the fuk fuk they now the lung, 
it don't cover with this salt, this calcium. So now the body they look for the calcium for will make you control the bone them. It can take down the commodity. And when you take and come up from them, this thing can grab back fresh. Another thing we get similar thing like this, uh, chicken pox. Yeah, chicken pox, oh man, don't get away, baby boy. He day not the brain, he keep day not the brain. The thing where you don't do the old way, the body immune system go down no more. He actually come back fresh because we didn't do a noble cook with him. Then they then call on shingles. Like the same chicken pox. I just give an example no more. But that that's more thing do I get for to that. Thank you. No, Dr. Kamara, thank you so much. That's even jogged me memory on something. So this same question where my sister asked, say, if somebody they get TB, no, no. What did Dr. Kamara talk about? So another one way, I think Dr. Conte been talking about the latent TB, where the soldier man, they sleep in your body, where they get activate, where you may need to do. But also the active TB disease. In my experience in the past, active TB disease, I don't see somebody where, you know, get no symptoms. Now, only when they're doing chest X-ray, now they see they get cavities in the X-ray. We then check out and say TB. So even with the active TB disease, you can get an hey, here do for let you not get symptoms, but it can happen. You can get active TB disease, where then they end up put her on treatment, where then see. Where would they do contact tracing? So Boku we don't we don't do chest tests, the TB team, they don't do chest tests, and people are in a contact of the case where they get the TB. Then they can find out say, oh, one person in the family, we're not getting no symptoms, but actually in chest tests, they show saying they get TB. So it can happen with active TB disease as well. Thank you. You're very much. Just yes. a quick on that. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kamara and uh, uh, Auntie Nafi. <clears throat> when I remember by one of my slides, I say WHO be estimates 8,000 people then get the sick, they don't know, and so they're not test at all. So then one then they we fall under latent or active. But they don't know because they know they show symptoms. Now then one then they really they spread the disease. Which I want for appeal to with people then is if when I remember the mode of transmission of this sick way I talk on, when I do I let we left this talk about it because that you not know, the help we way person gets sick. You know, say, or you get the impression I mind say they can go talk about that. You know, come for let them check and for let them treat them. And I saw it will pass on to other people then. People then, then are the country, but who people there for? It's been a problem. Then they know say if they're sick, they will talk for them. This go just worsen the situation. And if we not left that habit there, you go there before we come up and read on that uh, uh, zone for this CPR. So I they beg the people there. When I left to talk about a person sick, this not to not to possibly inform it. Now breathe the breathe the the jam inside your body. First, you know they pick who's can air for breathing or not for breathing. So that will not blame person. We, we most of we don't exposed to the jam. Now wait until we they eat fine. Or with soja man, they are last nine make we not get this. The one they away for one reason or the other, no, the soja man they're not a lot. Now we not talk about talk about about them. Now we not blame them. Now we help ourselves. Now we come up and this two problem are away. WHO don't let them in. Nothing. Thank you very much. Um, just a quick one from Miss Cassell. Miss Cassell, yes, I don't see you. Um, your contribution. Thank you very much. Ms. Cassell, they urge people them still the same thing way Dr. Conte is saying, the same thing we don't say before, for say they will try for understand diseases before you know you start making assumptions. And that stigmatization, if you know, say you know it will help somebody, keep your mouth quiet. But you know, by keeping your mouth quiet, you know, you help that person they already both for begin past news and you know, that's where they can call us along care go bring come and come go sign and pass thing where you know understand, but do a lot try for left and then they because. Then they, they cause more problems to the people the way they so the way they go through some of their illness there. They get the illness for worry, but also they can't get people the way they pass news about them. Most so even if somebody if somebody they suffer from something there, you say the factual thing, maybe that might even bring help to that person. But then they you know they pass news. Well, I know say oh now some of them something the way they pass news, we know too, and they cause more anguish to that person, they cause more sufferings to that person. They, so they are low with left. Um, somebody else asked a question, say, if there's contact tracing in Sierra Leone, mm. I will be very doubtful, but I'll put on to the one that we sabi, 
And Dr. Tumi, they don't work on our tongue. And a few of the doctors then get links in our tongue. We know people like maybe. Uh, but we get any form of contact trace in our salon for TB. Anybody know? Uh, if I can just make a word on that. Um, sure. I read quite a few literature articles on this uh, sick, this dry cough, but I don't see any side way they mention uh, this contact tracing. What they mention is uh, some districts, then they make initiatives for go and send patients there. I want for things say in that process somehow then go we'll also find out who side the person day, how much people then they are the post or wherever the person day, or if you don't travel recently, then kind of thing day. But you don't specifically say contact tracing day. day. Um anybody can add whatever you find out. Yeah, Uncle Doc. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I just uh, think I might be wrong. You see, inside this country, if somebody gets diagnosis of TB dry cough, as we call them, not way you get for report. The sick, they get reported to them big one, the way they, they house, the way they calculate, where they know the amount of uh, people that will get infected. Yeah. So if we don't get that in the salon, because all man can say, ah, this one, Alaka, he go, he get dry cough and begin to talk all kinds of time. Well, just think about it. If person they say, then go go try for find out who then are the person where they live with. You think about it, the stigma in itself, the stigma don't make people uh, actually not go own up. And because you not get the symptoms, clearly you go don't come where they go. So the likelihood of that being the case, I doubt very much. I could be wrong, and I stand corrected. But the way I see them, because not a notifiable illness, as in column, we need to report them. Like our doctor talk, we know see them by any of the literature say they do active contact tracing, like how we do in that country here. Yeah. For example, thing for do with uh, syphilis and all that thing and the, Again, any of them thing and the, even smallpox, you know, or measles, any of them sick then the meningitis. They're all the reportable one. I mean, I just have a few go bear me witness. So if they do that, that's fine. But of course, they need to report that. So we don't know exactly how they do that. But I doubt very much that's the case. And I think this is not the kind of thing that we did, all we need for takeaway from this talk for try for us, Papa's government, for make them try for do because then they go save a lot of lives. Just imagine that. Every blessed day, I repeat, every blessed day, 5,000 people then they die from this same sick. 5,000. Okay. Every year, you get over 3 million people and we they die. So imagine that. Half of the world population get this sick. They no no say they get up. It just tells you no more how important this sick day. Thank you very much. You know, so come out. Yes, I'm seeing Yes, now just for that to think Dr. Kamara say. So me working as alone as a nurse before I call by her. <laughs> well, this has been a long, long time ago. And I remember working in a TB clinic um, that MD. Will not be ever they do it in a cold contact tracing. But this is now more than 20 years ago. So <laughs> I don't know if now they don't begin, but <laughs> yeah, but just so I just want to say no more yes. They tell me maybe they work there as nurse, they're not be the one. I don't know why. Sometimes I because then they assume say everybody go down one way or the other exposed to TB because TB they they baku, according to Dr. Kamara in statistics, every 100,000 population, 286 people then get, and that's a big number. That's a very big number compared to other countries them. So sometimes and then maybe we don't say what's the point of doing contact tracing? Because everybody will be will get latent TB anyway. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so no more um from a logical standpoint, given the advancement we yes, as much as Bokuti not in our tongue, uh go and go with what Dr. Rashid say, say if somebody gets them, then go try for do that immediate tracing for say okay, who say we don't go that the people will be done, we don't come in contact with and stuff like that. I believe say maybe they would do something like that. However, um, how helpful that may be as down to statistics, which in most cases will not get in a salon. And I hope so anyways going forward at some point we will try for improve on with statistics, um, follow the collect and data then they become very important for inf for make for informed decisions going forward. Um, I will take a last question because of time. 
Um, the question uh, from Mr. Kaloko is say, um, how long somebody gets for me cage for me diagnose them, not for me cage them, or for me diagnose them with TB, how long it gets for stay alive, if, you know? And it, it, yeah, if they diagnose the person, how long it gets for if the person will be able to stay alive without treatment? Not with treatment, you then diagnose them, but you not take treatment. How long you get for uh, how long you get for leave? Um, <laughs> that's a very interesting question. <clears throat> how long? I would say I don't know. It depends on your body is soja manden. How strong they be? How well you they eat? How well you they sleep? How fit you be? Because if your body is so German, then don't run down, then don't diagnose you, be treatment free, then you not take treatment, then you so German, then don't really run down. You go die perhaps in a matter of maybe weeks, days, months. But when I remember, I say, I've been on talk about the military TV. That one was say, where it did the jam enter the blood, then the blood is circulated, don't scatter all over the body. If you look at the fufuku, the entire way then throw away or scatter millet seed. If it happens, say it get that bit there, then a medical emergency. Yeah, so if you not take treatment and you be saying that they get, then you will die in a matter of hours or days. So it, it depends on the number of other factors. I'm not going to be able to say specifically. What I go appeal is, do you, if you don't come up to the point where they don't diagnose you, just take the treatment. Because if free, you don't get for pay for that. First, if you want to commit suicide, you don't want to live again, then I can understand. But not a good idea. I don't know if anybody wants to act with that. Anybody else want to add? Yeah, because I can just add one thing. The, yeah. You, again, it depends on the area. Who's part of the body way this thing deeper? Yeah? We know say meningitis, just like malaria. Cerebral malaria, they kill within days. Similar to that, meningitis, not you, they kill. So if not TB, not in the cause them, they drag off, not in the cause them, they could kill you quicker than somebody who will get them now in back. Obviously, the person will get them now in back, don't tell you go paralyzed. Don't tell you go get to other problem with Wawaka and things and all that. But you go still alive, but they carry on and so far. So that's a long, long death. Yeah? But then at the long, like our doctor, they say, if not that military one, like where they scatter seed and are grown, then you don't get no fuk fuk for make you breathe. And we know say in life, the fuk fuk, now they keep you alive because now they, the, the, the exchange they take place for let them clean the blood way you they, you they circulate in your body, we get oxygen. Take the bad one away, put it at the heart, you know, pump them, and then of course from there go to the lung, you clean them, and then go back to the body, not like that. So if that now done, they come back with all the sick, and you're not going for breathe, obviously it will kill you quicker. So again, as I said, it depends on the area, the pathway you get affected. But mainly, then to the day, yeah, the brain, and of course the lungs, if you're really bad, definitely it will kill you. But what I don't even understand is why you make them go diagnose you, the treatment free, well, like that, then tell we. That's what the WHO says, the treatment free. And they did the center, then they will specialize on that. You now decide you need to take the treatment. Which now that the reason we make for, we let you go, go make them diagnose you. I don't get it. But anyway, the question is there. And the answer that we will say, again, depend on where. It could be shorter, it could be longer. It could be a protracted death. But I think, say, the advisable thing to do, the recommended thing for do, and for take the treatment, especially way free. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, something I can to you in a bit. I just want to ask something quick. So if the like I've been saying before, say something this man now we get belly and I they find out. So if the person the Roman get belly, he find out say get them. How will they affect the mama and how will it affect the picking because the mama will go for their medication and I don't know if you covered that day already, but and then I want no talk on your own. <laughs> Uh, but but remember I say if my man not well, picking not well. It's as simple as exactly. that. Exactly. So, so so the side effects of the drugs. Just, just give me the very very short one no more. Just well, for... I say 
So is Mama not well, Pekin not well? Obviously, Pekin, they in danger from your Mama. Yeah? So therefore, you will get the specialist them. We will look into that. We will tell you whether or not for continue with the pregnancy or not for continued time. Or if you continue time, the tablet or the medication will they take now, so now, so you could get effect on the baby. They will look into all that and then they give you a plan and give you action we for take. Well, That's not the short answer. Dr. Bell, we're not dating, and I don't know what the shorts to Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Yes, I think I will take you a question as the last one, then we will wrap up for today. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much for the the opportunity back up, you know, say we don't announce it. That's not the last question. Thank you for the bonus question. Forgive me. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, whilst we, whilst we the talk all of this, something just called to mind, um, given the importance of this program, one day one, I also like the caption because it makes so much sense to win a salon. We know, all know say well body pass gently. Although they won't after gently pass the well body by way activities, because exactly. by the very nature of the program, I they look at the the attendance as you see, a program of this nature, it need a countrywide coverage. I just want to pose this question to Una for this wonderful and brilliant work Una to do. How much effort Una don't put in for make we get this program for get a wider coverage in other country. Believe me, I don't go now in our archives. I don't go listen to some of the program they were miss. I just the and say, you know what, these people they need for make this program reach the least salon man other country. They because some of the information I want to give, those, those early warning signs where people and they ignore. If they get the information, it will save a lot of lives. Me, me, me interest in all of this now for how best this program will get a wider coverage. Our country. So I just want for no way to I don't do so far. Let me question and thank you. Antigi, thank you very much for my excellent point you raise. Um we don't hear a lot uh, from various uh, we don't use various channels, i social media channels. We don't try for use people in back home. However, um and let me excuse me, FC, we don't exhaust everything we need for do because we don't even make appeal and most of the channel we will do the show. We appeal to people yeah. and we get links to radio, yeah, TV, or try to put the message out there. Because the way they look at me is, <laughs> we they give with time, we they give with time, you know, for bring this program to people. Now, most of the channels in our salon, unfortunately, they're happy for show. I don't criticize anybody. They run, they run in the business. I understand. Mm. However, they're happy for show programs them we and I even some of the international programs them for free. While when we approach them, for example, money becomes the most important. Now, because we not get charity funding coming in, we look and say it not makes sense for like, we they give it time, effort, and everything. Then pan tap that again, we're going to go pay again for air and as well. We we don't tell the radio stations, them or TV stations, the one we don't get in contact with, I don't call them. We don't tell them so they get the program for free. They can even decide for edit if we need. They need editing. We go try for see what we go do. However, we not go pay out of we own pocket. If the charity fund day, that's what it's there for. If it's that's what it's been allocated for, we go pay the money. But for sale, we put one again our pocket. We find and say, you no, we're not going to justify that. I hope that makes sense. And also, when it comes to we young people and our can out to we young people, then the funny thing is. We get this habit. I don't know free people. I need to say for other people. I don't know if people who don't approach me say, Oh, I will join on a program for you. No, you need to join on for me. Mm. Now, for you, say for the join on for people, then feel free. I don't want to say any show now, yeah, but people then feel free for join programs. Then we take their interest, i.e., social programs. Then go join them, then go pay their megabytes, they go do everything. But when it comes to their health, they know what do I bought when they're sick. Some of we now we then go phone back say oh I know well oh. so then I can ask them say but wait too this thing where they say wrong with you so you know so we don't deal with her before hey you know we don't deal with her but remember but they send the flyer to you so you know one day at ten you know they go look at the programs but when you sick you go call me for last send you money let you go hospital for something where if we don't land but where the same thing that they can not tell you now like the same program Mr. Flan and from I don't know if it makes sense. I don't want to call no. certain programs, but certain programs, they, 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 when, they, when they start, you they see that everybody, the, the timeline from Facebook mm. to WhatsApp to everything, and then they get a single penny out of it, but now in and they take interest in. Unfortunately, that's the way we are. 
Mm. When even when it comes to education, I know I'm going. If I say they talk about all of this, it will take five hours now. But even when it comes to education, you go to you go to almost beg people and say, "Come, let I teach you something." You know, won't mm. do it. But if you put certain programs, trust me, <laughs> they will tell you from A to Z. Even three, four o'clock in the morning, where people and they sleep, people and they where they pay for watch people and they sleep. And, 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 I'm sure you understand that because, yeah. we'll to about, because we all there at the same community, we see what in the happen. It's an unfortunate thing. You can force the horse to the stream. Unfortunately, you can force it to drink. But I'm happy, uh, Mr. Tarawali, the number they um I will share my number again with you. I will send it to you personally, the WhatsApp number. I will send it, please yeah. get in touch. Let we engage. You know, okay. me, I'm happy for learn from somebody, but also happy for let somebody come on board and try for help with for let we get this as far and wide as possible. I hope I don't talk for the group, but if anybody else want to add anything on this, I'm happy to. Anybody else want to add to it, Mr. Tagawali? Okay. Silence means I don't I don't talk about who. Yes, Auntie Nafi. I mean, not only in connection um, with Mr. Tagawali in question, I just find and talk no more in terms of the TV who present. So I just want to make like, just a, a recap and a take home message. TB is a disease where they completely cure. Na early diagnosis, na na the key where the awareness day you get symptoms, you suspect them, go see your doctor. The earlier they diagnose you, the quicker you will get the medicine and you will get a full recovery um, from the disease. And also you could prevent for spread to other people. Then. So that's just the take-home message we're well, on. Thank you. Okay. Well, Mr. Tarali, like I said, I will send you a message um, on um, on Zoom now, yeah? so you will get the yes. WhatsApp number. Whether you get in touch with me, I'll talk. I'm um, of the audience. If I'm below, I thank you, thank you. Um, I know still I'm not patient. We don't go over time about 10 or so minutes now. But I'll ask the panel for later. Uh, we do a roundup. When they do now, we last word, then we will finish for today. So I will start with um, Dr. Today. Don't be very quiet. Hmm. Bank holiday weekend, I quiet. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fambule, yes, Unadu, Unadu. Uh, Mr. Taoli, uh, enjoy your contribution. Thank you so much uh, for being so observant and you bring up so many uh, relevant, useful things. Uh, we, I, I wholly wish, say, most people, they think in, you know, the way they think. And uh, Mr. Fuller don't um, explain most of the things then, so we'll not we'll get for go over them. Um, uh, I tell people and thank you for them can join we and the, this they always be on YouTube if people then can um you know share them to people them let them listen uh in in I mean, most people can get WhatsApp now so you can watch and even on WhatsApp on uh, YouTube wherever uh and then they go go help us spread the message as well I think if you ask one question we about um the treatment being forever or something like that i don't know if i get that wrong um but i think and um, mr dr conte don't talk and say the treatment it ain't two phase then the active phase you know and the continuous phase so not to say forever and ever they take treatment just that you get for take a couple of months you know first two months very active and then after that you know uh four to seven months you they take another medication you see and when it comes to pregnant uh, women if uh, the treatment medication get danger to, I mean, anybody where they take her, even somebody who's not pregnant, but it will affect the picking as well. But if you compare, you weigh the risk to benefit ratio, it better you treat the woman because the TB itself will cause more danger to the mama in picking than we you know treat her. So you get for weigh, the, 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 weigh that, that as well. That's all part of the, the, um, um, the management of the patients, how now they negotiate management with patients, what to get for do, they take the least um, adverse um, and effects. Then the, the people in the treat the people, uh, the pregnant woman, look at the medication way things say will affect the picking more, maybe try for substitute them, you know, um, because some of them it can affect the picking and then tubes them, then the spinal cord and things like that. So you get for take the medication the day away. Um, so I think apart from that, uh, uh, so far, uh, Mr. Fulado explained so much. We've done, I think, as much as we could uh, to people around. Sometimes they watch some of them channel, then they even put Chinese things in, learn Chinese and all that. But they're not going to put things where go benefit people. And so 
Uh, it's, it's just the nature. Maybe not so God make <laughs> we black people. Sorry to say that. So being sarcastic. But thank you so <laughs> much for <laughs> all come for join. Uh, uh, we get uh, uh, again another session. We get for come. Please pass the word. We know the mpox they go around at some stage. I mean, Dr. Kamara, we don't present them. Um, we see they cause havoc. Um, we willing and Dr. Kamara willing for go over and again. Uh, you go check with YouTube channel this mpox day day. Please watch them. Please advise people them. I mean, I mean when we, you walk in hospital any healthcare setting you get for prioritize things then for now it's a priority you know and so we they ask people then for let them please 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 you know pass that message that video day even if you get other things the way they do just send them to somebody like check because you never can tell you might travel going to salon you know nothing will happen or you just in a salon anything a day if you didn't know it's in a mpox and try for avoid Probably it will help, and we know it up with Ebola and all the rest. So long, no go through that, 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 that movie day again. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to say so. So we'll get for try for get another session of that. So please pass the message, Leona. Please join. If you're not benefit, you might benefit your relative or somebody else. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Kamal. Yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks, Doc. That's very good. You just take the word and come out of my mouth. Yeah. This mpox don't they cause number. <laughs> if you see the this with WHO as they call them, come up with um a message say this thing uh, of international interest. When well, nothing number now, <laughs> you don't come up and play play. Because what you do, basically if you say now because now Africa no more day, uh, predominantly in uh East Africa or Congo and all that, well we know say two years ago. It been done commodity, if any way, right to we own place now. In fact, we know the number of people and we don't die when I think they after two years they come back. And now we don't go to the point now we, then the you know people and they import this this sick coming to we own place then yeah. So we know not safe and so now make it fine for let we talk about that because even as alone, uh the, a case been there with and say uh the person get the symptoms then. They show them. And sadly the person die. And when the person die, they take the blood and all that, send and go out. Uh, the report way then get, they say, not to the sick, now the person die of. However, they not tell me the sick way the person die of. So if you say not to the mpox, now the person die of, although you get the symptoms, well, hang on, no. How you know what thing kill the person? So what they do, then take two of the people away, then they're also with, including a mama and I think his sister of Peking, then put them in isolation. But up till now, which they tell you, we will not get no case. But we know, say, then we get in medicine, which we call false negative. Now, it's possible to say the person tests negative, but, you know, but you get the sick. <laughs> yeah, and you get there with a false positive, whereas now the opposite that one day. But all that day we will talk about when the temperature, and I think, say, within the next two, three, maybe, no, maximum four weeks, we will talk about that because maybe not talk about this, and I'm happy for uh, we we'll talk about this again because now, 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 now important topic for make we know which we do with the symptoms them would that go affect. And as I say, we tell them that thank you, but we not can't today, and we don't they get new ideas, we don't they get this well, but the better pass don't they expand. Now we talk about Australia, we don't do Saudi Arabia, we don't do Salon, we don't do America, Canada, you name it, inside Europe. So we tell God thank you for that, and with a five year very soon. So therefore, we want for Leona spread the word, please. If anybody for Epwe, we will forget this. As we brother they say, they will get them nationwide. We happy for do that. We go come on board. We go engage, and obviously we go then take whatever it is they need from we. For they will forget this thing because we know say it depends for people. Them. Therefore, remember whatever you they do, wherever you go, remember say well body. He better pass gentry, not to gentry pass well body because the sick then first go kill you. But if you avoid that, like this sick we'll talk about today. We an avoidable disease and a treatable disease, and a curable disease, if fine for love to take action. Like I say, on time. Not the way uh, what I don't pass Gary, you begin to say for do. We can't do that. So therefore, a stitch in time that says saves nine. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamal. Um 
What did I say? You all try to make a short speaker or the whole really one after time. What did I say? I don't think I did anything for say. Just want to tell everybody thank you for joining and um, also for members say everybody better part gently and I thank you for all our contributions and the question they want to ask the sector and the comment they want to make. Thank you so much. We appreciate. We hope for see you now back again <laughs> in the next presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. I see you don't go blackout. That's all you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> thank you, Devna. Thank you for coming. Um, the other one says this topic now very important, like all the other topics there. I just the play to repeat to them. When you look at how they get this jamia, how they get the seed, not to do for blame person, but we also know say we able to do something for prevent them, and we able find help for let them treat me we well came from the disease. Now we look at the positive side and try for follow that pathway. More so where the treatment free. And you get both side and at the country. Now we left for talk about people that way for whatever reason they don't get the seat. Then they know they help me as a nation. And I thank you, and I will come. When I get party them, bamboo them, and I tell them. And as Dr. Ture and Dr. Tamara say, in the next few weeks, we will also talk about the current situation at the moment, we're also very, very important. And I thank you. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. We come, the one day we don't log off early. I tell everybody plenty thank you. And hopefully um, we will get a better audience. Um, we didn't get a good number, but it seems like say, people are not log off early. I know say, today, I think London and Gout in Tiliana, maybe a few people places they get out in as well, given at the bank called in our UK. Well, when I will take time out of my busy time for joining me today, I have plenty, plenty thank you. Till we meet again, well, buddy, a better part gently. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> thank you.